If you have yarn that looks like this, it's called a hank or a skein, and you're gonna want a ball winder to help you make that into a manageable center pole ball when you're knitting or crocheting. It's gonna make the whole process so much easier, essentially because when you open this yarn, which is a hank or a skein, you'll see it's just a lot of loops on top of each other in a big circle. So you don't wanna start knitting or crocheting off of your hank like this. It's gonna become really tangled really quickly and it's not gonna be fun. So if you have a ball winder, it just makes everything nice, neat, in a super fast way where you can work from that center pole ball. Now, when you first get your ball winder, it's gonna come in a few different pieces, but it's super easy to put together. Here we have the main component of the ball winder. The first thing that you're going to do is uh, this cone here. It just slides right into the top center of the main component and then you just turn it and then it's secured in place right here. So it just slides in and then you turn it a little bit to the side and it locks it in place. Secondly, you'll find this little metal arm here and it has this little stopper end. Essentially what you're gonna do is insert this into the main component of the ball winder and that's gonna allow you to fasten your ball winder onto the edge of a table or any other kind of little side table or countertop that you might have. You're also gonna have this little screw with a plastic end. That's gonna be so you can secure this metal arm to your main component of the ball winder. You wanna hold your arm in place, and then there's gonna be a little bit of an opening right here at the bottom portion of your ball winder. You're just gonna take your screw and line it up with this center hole on the arm. And you're just gonna fasten and turn the screw to keep your arm in place. And you just wanna turn it so it's nice and snug on there. You don't want it loose, otherwise it's not gonna secure to your table. There you go. And now the next part is if you attach it to your table, you simply turn this to lower it or uh, to heighten this a little bit closer to your table to secure it onto your table. The other thing that you wanna do is your ball winder is gonna have this little metal arm. And when you take it out of the box, it's gonna be secured to the side here. But you can see I can move it and there's actually on the front portion of your ball winder, there's a small arrow and it points down to a little groove on the bottom portion of your ball winder. That's where the metal arm is gonna click in place and it's just gonna hold your arm firmly in that position and that means that it's gonna stay in one spot and it's gonna feed your yarn in the same position where it winds nicely around your ball winder. So again, before you wind it, you just wanna make sure to push your arm out so it fits into that little groove and then you're good to go. So again, I'm just gonna attach this onto my table here and you just wanna turn the little washer to secure it. And again, you just wanna have it tight enough where it doesn't move around. Now to my left side here, uh, I have what's called a swift. These two items work in tandem to, with each other very nicely. But again, you don't need a swift. You can use the ball winder independently. You can have someone just hold your yarn and wind it, or you can put it around a chair if you don't have a swift. But again, it makes the process just a little bit easier, a little bit faster. So I'm gonna use it in this instance. There you go. There you're gonna find a couple of spots where it's tied. You just want to remove those small little ties and find your end. And then you're just gonna take one of those yarn ends. And what you're gonna wanna do, there's a little loop here and you simply thread the yarn end through that loop. And then on the cone of your ball winder, the very top, you're gonna to find two notches on either side. You're just gonna to wanna to take the very tippy part of your end here and secure it into those grooves. And that's gonna keep it in place as you start winding it. And then to start, there's a little uh, 
printed on instruction right by your handle and it tells you which direction to turn it and and it's just clockwise you just kind of turn it this way and so you can see as I'm winding it it's taking the yarn from the swift here and it's winding it around nice and neat and then when I'm all done I'm gonna have a nice big chunk of yarn that's wound nice and neatly and then I'm going to be able to pull right from the middle and it's just going to sit there next to me as you're knitting or crocheting it's not going to roll around because it has a flat bottom so I'm just going to finish winding up this yarn and then I'll show you what it looks like all right so I'm almost to the end of my yarn you can see I only have a couple more strands around my swift you can see my yarn here has grown significantly and turned itself into a nice, really neatly wound up ball. So I'm just gonna finish this. And when it gets to the end, you can just kind of place it around here. I'll turn this part around. The one thing you do wanna do is grab this little center portion, the one that we placed into the grooves of the cone. You just wanna tug on that and kind of pull it out. If you don't do that at first, when you take it off, it can actually sometimes get lost inside and then you don't have that nice center pull ball. You'll have to go from the outside. So again, you just wanna pull that center loop out and then carefully slide it off your ball winder. And now you can see I have this really neatly wound center pull ball. It sits nice and flatly. And then this is the center pull portion. I'm gonna just, as I'm knitting or crocheting, it's just gonna really neatly come out of the center here. And cause the sides are flat, the top and bottom portions, you can just keep this next to you, knit and crochet, and it's just gonna keep really nicely flowing out of that center portion. So again, the Knit Picks Ball Winder, it just helps that whole process. It works really nicely. Um, it's easy to put together. And again, when you're done with this, you just slide it off your table kind of undo the screw a little bit so you can slide it off. And then, you know, you can always put your metal arm back on the side so it kind of breaks it down a little bit more. So you can see here, I'm able to fold that back up. If you want to, you can save your box, you know, take this piece apart, and then it stays a little bit more compact. But you know, if you have a craft room, you can definitely keep this ball winder set up on your table or your countertop or wherever. But this is, uh, again, the Nimpix ball winder. It's super easy to use. It makes winding hangs and skeins of yarn into nice center pole balls super easy. It makes it a cinch and it's just going to mean you can start knitting and crocheting a lot sooner.